front for Duke. I mean, it was musical chairs trying to figure out. Oh, who's it's out, it. and it's kicked by Troy and recovered by the Trojans. After they brought Trasher pressure on Loftus, Del Pettis with the recovery for Troy. In these short field situations, they go with the end around. Here's Barber. He's got a blocker out front, and Barber picks up a first down for Troy. Inside the 15, what a finish. That was Barber in motion on second and 10. They go to Vidal, he finds the edge, and he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Troy, and his 15th touchdown of the season for Kamani Vidal. Holy and this one's coming back. Offense, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. Third and 17. Unless you're really aggressive, and it's in the first three plays. <laughs> Gunner Watson looking to throw, and he gets taken down. What a stop by this Duke defense. Got the distance. The official shielding against the Sun, no good. He certainly changed when he suffered the toe injury. Troy brings four, and they still get pressure and nearly picked. Couple of 300 pounders up front. They bring pressure, and they got to Watson. And a Duke sack on third down. State of Alabama today alone. Jacquez Moore, his second carry, and he breaks free for a first down and was a shoestring away from plenty more. A Duke team that's been really good running back by committee, and they'll try to find some space, and a turn back by Moore, and blocking from his quarterback. A Duke first down, great vision by the junior running back, Jacquez Moore, and a gain of 18. When I watched this Troy defense on film, the three things that stuck out to me where other teams had success, cutback runs, screens, and one-on-one -on -one throws down the field to pull. Loftus to throw on second and long. Got a man wide open. Down to the one-yard line. Coleman dances his way towards the goal line, and he is in. Touchdown, Duke, and Jalen Coleman, his first rushing touchdown of the season. Justin Pickett, big 77, getting a pretty good push there. And you see some early penetration, but that's where the cutback runs have had some success against the Troy defense. Formation before they shift, and they're going to go direct snap for the two-point conversion, and in is Nikki Dalmolin. How about Dalmolin with a rushing score? Palachian State, but a... Stomach virus has felled a number of these Troy players. Goes deep, and the Wobbler is caught inside the 40 by Barber. And a Troy first down and a late flag after some pushing and shoving. That's a gain of 36. One thing Joe Craddock does is move his players to find other matchups and get defenders out of space. And you see Jabray Barber coming all the way across the field. A little bit of a wheel route, just takes it up the sideline, but that forces that safety to come play downhill. He gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Excellent connection. Flag came the after the play. The completed pass for a first down. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number one, Troy. It's a 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It'll be first down and 10. That is number one's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. The Troy never left, never transferred. And he's thrown for over 10,000 yards in his career. This one's on the money to the perimeter. And Peyton Higgins is able to pick up four yards. And that is a beauty of a kick. It'll touch down at the four and rock it into the end zone. Two-point conversion of the season for Duke. That's the most in the ACC. Great hands on the swing out to Jordan Moore. And he turns it upfield all the way to the 45-yard line. Running behind that rebuilt line and not gonna get it. Fewer than 20 points a game. Best mark in program history since 1975. Double pass coming. Back to the running back, Asa Martin. Chris Lewis, the transfer from Kentucky, was the one who threw it. It's been analytics say go for it here. Watson steps away from pressure and delivers on time, but a huge hit to stop short of the marker by H by Al Blades Jr. 
So first and long for Duke trying to get it back. Jordan Waters gets tripped up and makes it back to the 30. That will leave second and long. Three new starters in that line. Four man rush. Loftus goes deep down the sideline and too strong, but another flag. And we got two of them flying in there. The side judge says, Look at my four seamer. Did you see? <laughs> we got a flag throwing competition here. Pass interference, number two, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. And it's greater. That's the fifth flag against Troy. Blue Devils try to run it, and Jordan Waters picks up a couple. Pressure coming. They try to set up a screen. What a catch! Fantastic hands and a turn up field by Sean Brown. The only miss was from 40 plus. He drives this one through and good. And Duke able to add to its lead. A little unconventional scoring here. It's an 11 nothing game. He was honorable mention all ACC this year. Over the middle and nearly picked by Chandler Rivers. So oh, he had it in his hands. Would have been his second of the year. Their fourth quarter scoring is third best in the country. Watson steps up, delivers, nearly picked again. This one off the hands of Trey Freeman. Four man rush. Loftus near side. That's complete. Lost his shoe. Quarter. Grayson Loftus on the run, and he's able to find his tight end. More than five yards per play here in the first half. A delayed look, and stepping out of one tackler and moving on is Jacquez Moore. Five yard gain. Boy, nice job by Moore. You see, you'll see penetration come in the backfield. We'll split zone look. Once again, Jordan Stringer, he has been in the backfield often today. On second and 10, they'll run it with Jalen Coleman. Coleman finding some success between tackles. This third and four. And Coleman is able to pick up the first down. Duke may have got away with movement. Loftus pulls it back. Now he's going to run. And he throws last second past the marker is Jordan Waters. And it's a Duke first down in a kicking game from deep. Jacquez Moore finds five yards. That'll move him closer. 76 logo. The 76 Birmingham ball and a line drive kick was a rocket off of his foot and good. And that'll take us to triple zeros on the clock. Idell had a hole, decided to bounce it to the outside, and he's able to pick up four yards in the first down. Sensational after contact, he just does so much well. And that time they find a hole for him. And the and Don talked about it, but this is the most manageable at third and two. And Vidal takes it to the logo and picks up the first down. A play action again to the slant, and that's good for a first down by Devontae Ross. Into Duke territory, pressure from the edge. That's picked up. Leaves man coverage, and it is caught inside the 10. Starter. Four-man rush. They don't pick up the blitz, and it is incomplete. And that was a easy pass for Vincent Anthony Jr. to come straight after the quarterback. How'd they miss number 19? Well, you look at this protection up front from the Troy offensive line. Pressure going to come from the right side, and that's just a bust on your left tackle. And I'm, I, we don't know what the call was. We don't know who else made a call. Potentially. Go ahead. Sorry, they're going to go for it on fourth and ten. You know why? Bull season. Bull season. Nine minutes to play in the third quarter. Watson hit again, got sandwiched, and it falls incomplete. Watson got absolutely crushed. Chris Lewis was the intended receiver, and the Troy quarterback still on the ground. Good news for Troy is Gunnar Watson is back in the game. Remember that last offensive play? He took a hit, and he hit his head on the turf. On the run, delivers it on time, and that's a Troy first down. To Off a of play action again. And that one is caught for another Troy first down by Peyton Higgins. A low snap again. Watson gets rid of it. They able to pick up another first down through the air. Loud per game, and they're pitching a shutout here this afternoon in Birmingham. Vidal spins his way and is able to pick up three yards. Dwayne Carter in on the stop. 
He's only two of six on field goals of 40 yards plus. This one's got the distance. And it's good. And Troy finally finds the scoreboard. Elevated with Jacob now being a college football player. Jareen and Stanley in the stands with little brother. And this one's complete to Jalen Coleman. And he sprints down before getting upended in Detroit territory. Three for three for 41 yards. And on the ground, big hole and a nice spin. Jordan Waters is able to rip off an eight-and-a-half-yard game. And Polino is money. A perfect afternoon with a sophomore from Cornelius, North Carolina. And touchdowns against just five picks on the season. Here's Aza Martin who finds a hole on the edge and picks up a first down. Let's get down to the field of Don Davenport. Set of third downs on the season. Low snap, recovered. And a bobbled catch and a stretch, but short is Barber. Watson kept it, and it gets tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Back outside to get the stop. Loftus lobs it out, and Duke's going to have a huge play on this completion. I don't think they've gone empty since that fumble in the first quarter. This one lobbed down, field and intercepted. A huge Troy takeaway by Damage Yancey. A strike over the middle of the field. Gunnar Watson comes near side. That's a nine yard pickup. Vidal finds enough of a hole and then he crawls forward and he never quits. Tackle. Quarterback keeps it himself and he takes it down nearly to the two yard line. Another low snap behind the line of scrimmage. Double pass and incomplete. And they're going to throw it backwards. They're going to throw it to the left tackle, Derek Graham, and he will rumble in for a touchdown. Five guy touchdown. Officially a rushing touchdown. It was a backward pass, advanced for a touchdown. Personal foul, roughing the passer with targeting number two defense. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. The ruling on the field of targeting is under further review will be a massive loss for the Blue Devil defense. What do you think about the targeting call? Bottom right of the screen? By rule. It's crown of the helmet to the helmet. And it, it does appear as though there's a launch. It's going to be a 15-yard difference. But by rule. After review, the ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number two is disqualified for the man of the game. Now, Country in fourth quarter scoring better than 11 points per fourth quarter. Just two hours south of here, the crowd starting to get riled up. Duke rips off a positive play on first down with Jacquez Moore. And they try to run it and find nothing behind Jordan Waters. He is thrown down for a loss of two. On the ground. Big stop at the line of scrimmage on Waters, led by Stephen Catledge, and a timeout taken. On second and ten, straight ahead run. Big hit. And Troy will use another timeout quickly, and they'll stop the clock at 2.43. Nice cutback, but Duke finds nothing. Just a two-yard gain that time, and it's Pettis who led the charge on the stop. The ten. Short kick with a Duke hop, and that'll trickle out at about the 11-yard line. He drive starts with 146 to play. Watch it hit. Still able to get it complete. That's Ethan Connor with his third catch of the game. 128 on this snap. Watch it hit again, and it sails, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Duke's Jeremiah Lewis. They gave some guys that had never really had any snaps this year a chance to compete against some of the first and second stringers. They still went out and tried to develop the younger players. Great job by Loftus and this Duke team. They went out there today with some guys who are going to be in different uniforms next year, and that's known. Already committed to places like North Carolina State, Virginia Tech, even within the league. But they said they're part of building this program, they're part of our family, and we're going to stick with them. Give something. Take a red just so I can breathe.